Okay. So I'm going to cover her eyes and her nose. And I'm going to, my water's pointing downwards. You want to make sure it does not go into the ear canal. Never wash your dog going upwards where it could get into their ears. Always have your water stream going down. Now here has a trachea problem, so an old lady, so she has a hard time breathing sometimes. That's why it's important you don't get water into their nose. And I wash over her back and rinse her really well. Lift her legs. Go underneath the armpits. Lift the other leg. Lift her up again on her hind legs. You can take both paws and hold them in your one arm. This may need some practice, but you guys don't have to be perfect at it. Just do the best you can. Obviously, I've been doing this for many, many years now. Lift up the tail, underneath the tail. For those of you who are wondering about anal glands, I don't recommend you do your dog's anal glands unless you've really had experience doing it before. The anus has a lot of nerve endings and you don't want to damage any of the nerve endings in your, your dog's hind area. And then after you think that your dog is fully rinsed, you can turn off your water, squeeze the water out of your dog, and at the same time you want to feel for that gooey sliminess. If you feel anything gooey or soft or sliminess, that may feel like shampoo. Your dog's not rinsed yet. So just start the water over again and just re-rinse that area. Like I said, double and triple check. Make sure there's no soap residue left on your dog. After all that, you can take a flea comb. And all of that hard, crusty stuff that's on your dog, you could just comb it right out. Hold them underneath their chin. It's the best way to have control of their face. And you could just... Pull this stuff right out, just like that. It's gonna come right out because now it's all nice and loose. And all that crusty stuff's gonna be gone between the eyes. There, just like that. And there you have it. So that is my video on dog washing and bathing. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below or give me a call or a text. Have a great day, stay safe.